like here? Yeah, my upload. It would be like the text throughout, like in some places they kind of show little squares, but it would always just be kind of like on the page, kind uh, of integrated, like not very separate unless it's like The risk experience, I think, is, is working amazingly hard uh, in, in a group setting, so there's a, a sort of a collegial thing that happens where folks are playing off each other and uh, there's usually a lot of making and, uh, and, and quite a bit of the experience comes out of the process itself. Summer study students, their expectation is to get a piece of RISD. So it's, it's that critical also that you make certain that they get that piece of RISD that they're expecting. The opportunities to access faculty, equipment, form a community themselves, even if it's in two or three weeks, that will sustain them as they go back to what they do. Uh, whether it's another school or whether they're going back to their studio in a company or in their studio as an artist. I think the summer program is really nice because you get to really, really devote energy in a concentrated period of time to learning something um, with more focus rather than taking multiple classes at once. I mean, I'm always in awe that people take their precious summertime to spend, you know, in a warm studio laboring over small, detailed objects. I've been able to sort of step outside of my own boundaries, and um, I've had, a, I think, a lot of good growing experiences. They offer pretty much everything, especially at all beginner levels. So if you have no experience with stuff, it's pretty easy to try something new. The enthusiasm of making and, and being around uh, a creative process um, inspires me to go back and sit in my warm studio and make things. Well, I mean, we're all practicing artists as well as being teachers. The reason you're pulling this proof, and it's the main objective, is to see if this is going to hold black. Faculty, they teach us how to use the machines. They teach us how to do all the different techniques. If you have any questions, you can come running to them. This is really what's great about this class is that you're exploring all of these different um, avenues, and they just kind of help you along with that. The idea is you explore. It's exciting. Um, and, um, you know, it kicks ideas off in terms of your own work as well. I mean, you're constantly re-examining your own ideas and you're learning new things about the process, you know, as you're teaching. The purpose of Introduction to Industrial Design is to give people the entry point to a very, very broad career that can go in many, many directions. It could be product development, it could be uh, working with different manufacturing techniques. We definitely try to give people an understanding of working with different materials. Working with RISD summer students is enjoyable. You know, they are really um, into learning the process and since they're, most of them have no idea how it works, when they see it works it's pretty magical. Like if you really put your potential into like becoming what you want, you will achieve being here. Back in my country I was like um, in drama and theater major so I learned how to do some sewing making costumes so I'm not new to making things but I'm really new to uh, using metals. It's a nice uh, form constructed with this particular material. It's a uh, lightweight and it's like a, a drawing in space. They all end up with uh, defined skills that they didn't have before they got here and perhaps uh, an interest in something that they uh, didn't know anything about before, they have a different appreciation. This experience has been great. Um, I was actually going to go into furniture design, but found that it was too comfortable for me. I wanted a challenge, and apparel was sort of the challenge that I needed. People are learning in parallel, so they're able to, to um, get a lot about, out of the lessons. You not need to um, r grab around the whole, um, the whole handlebar because when you're riding a mountain bike, you're actually almost um, the time standing. So you uh, just have to lean on the, on the mm -hmm. thing. So that's what I basically um, thought about when I did this. I'm quite impressed with just how extensive their background, backgrounds are with, in my case, film. I just felt that the character of my camera um, was more believable and more relatable. Okay, I asked them at the very first class meeting, why did you choose to take this class? And fortunately, I don't get a response like, oh, it just sounded cool. They actually will say something like, I want to learn more about this genre. I, I, I know a little bit about it. I've seen some examples. 
but I really want to expand my knowledge. Having all the different kinds of students is just very exciting and it, it adds uh, a lot to the class. One year I had uh, two 20 year olds, two 30 somethings and two 60 year olds and they really bonded <laughs> and it was it, it made for a really nice class. I'm very interested in children's book illustration. I think I might want to pursue that as a career. I'm taking advantage of this class and every doing everything I can to be successful. Before I used to look at a sunset, you know, I have lots of artist friends and they would say, oh, I'd love to paint that. And I'm not a painter, but now I can look at a sunset and say, oh, I could make that into a garment. RISD is so incredibly broad. You can learn anything and work with any material anywhere here. That's just crazy what you can get out of this school if you really push. Let me, let me go back to page.